Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. I was heading north with Matt from Fishing in God's Own magazine and a new toy called the Splash Drone. We were going to experiment with the drone, a long line and hopefully some 20 pound snapper. The swell was forecast to ease overnight and so a daylight start saw us cruising the beach looking for a gut or hole to fish over. We spied a local seal before setting up the gear and baiting up our long line. With a number of satellites locked on, we launched the drone off the beach and into the air. The drone has a release system and can carry a payload of about 1kg. We had it set up to a game fishing outfit and about a kilometre of line. We flew it out about 400 metres and dropped the gear behind the breakers. The drone came home back to base without any worries, although we weren't too worried because it was waterproof. From then on it was a waiting game. We were hoping for some snapper to find our fresh mackerel and squid baits. The current was dragging us down the beach so we had to reset. I sent my drone up for a look around the beach for a bird's eye view while we did more waiting. Hordes of snapper that were present last week were playing hide and seek this week and several drops returned no results. We shifted to a better looking spot and sent the line out for another drop as the tide steadily rose up the beach. More waiting and some conversation with curious locals filled in the time and eventually something bit. Yep, just a kawaii. To fill the food bag we looked for some tua tours. I thought I'd found a granddaddy tua tour but upon extraction and inspection realised it was actually a toy rower. Here you can see the difference. Toy rower can't be disturbed or taken so I returned him back to his sandy home. No more bites unfortunately for the day, but it was fun trying something new in a beautiful part of New Zealand. This is Scott from Digital Fish with Content That Catches. <laughs>